the Fabric Ninja. Let's take a look at the Tula Explorer. Now Tula's been changing some stuff up and the Tula Free to Grow was the first one to have some of the new changes. But this is the Tula Explorer. It has even more changes. Now that doesn't mean the original Tula is going to have a ton of changes because they're coming out with several other varieties now that can work for the way that you baby wear. The Tula Explorer is the first baby carrier in the Tula line where you can forward face or world face your child. It looks in many ways similar to an Ergo 360. It has these buttons here that control the seat size. It has a headrest which goes up and down. And inside the body here, which we'll look at in a moment, it actually adjusts the width of the seat. And that's very much something you see on the Tula Free to Grow. It has this seat adjuster, as does the Ergo Adapt. So this is a wonderful way to make sure that your kid always has that knee to knee position, even as they are small or get bigger. Today we have the doll, Big Baby, helping us out. This is my daughter's doll but it happens to be the size of about a two or three month old, depending on how big your kids are. So it gives us a good idea of what baby wearing is like when your child is young. I will make a note, the big baby is not weighted, so you're not necessarily seeing the full amount of pressure that would be put down here and the shape it would create. So let's talk about some of the changes first. The hood. This is a big change in the Tula world. These hoods are different now. It comes with a flat hood and the reach straps are attached. Now before, Tula hoods used to have a loop of elastic here and you could add your own aftermarket reach straps to make it easy to pull up behind you. But now Tula has attached them and right here you can see snaps. You just lift these up and you're going to snap it right to the shoulder here at whatever height you need for your child. This snap does mean that if you're making DIY accessories, you're going to need the snaps that work with this carrier, or you're going to need to buy pre-made reach straps. Both are available. And you can actually still make the hood with the elastic loops at the end. You just use a set of reach straps that hooks onto that elastic loop. So you can still make them any way you want. Well, we have the hood up here and out of the way. Let's talk about this, the, the bib. Lilla Baby has a big, uh, Lilla Baby has a bib, Ergo 360, Ergo Adapt. This bib is wonderful. It gives your child head support when it's up, especially for when they're sleeping or when they get taller. Having a taller kid, this acts as increasing the height of your carrier. It can also be worn tucked to the inside as well for smaller babies to give them a bit more support. Well, for you to really see how this hooks up, I'm gonna to need to get this hood out of the way. So let's do that first. The hood attaches through these pieces here. This is a fabric strap. It happens to match the carrier so it's probably really, really hard for you to see. But there's a fabric strap here where my finger is, and it has several sewing spots across it, and it allows you to change the height of the hood. So I'm pulling out the hood strap here. I could also slide it in here or here to change the height. And the same thing on the other side. You can put this hood on while you're wearing it. It's just easier for me to do this way. very similar to what you've seen before, the general hood shape. It has elastic on both sides and to attach it to your carrier, you have these tabs out the side that snap to themselves. So you don't need special snaps down here, even though they do happen to match the snaps up here on the straps. You can use whatever snaps you have if you're making your own DIY accessories because they snap to themselves. You could also use a button or elastic, not elastic, sorry, a button or Velcro. It's snapping to itself, so it doesn't really matter. But up here on the straps, you will need the snaps that work with this carrier. Here we have the bib, as I said. It's starting to be a common feature in a lot of carriers, and you put this up for a lot more head support 
So now you have more than just the sleeping hood to give you that head support. You have the bib. This goes up, and I'll show you here how it attaches. Right behind the strap that we just saw, there's a little pocket. And inside here are the snaps. And that means that the snaps are totally covered inside. So none of this plastic is really going to be available or pushing on you. And it's the same thing on the other side, but I'll just tuck that in for the moment. I do have a DIY bib pattern available if you want to cover up the bib for a little bit more protection for, for your carrier from all of that drool because we all know baby carriers are delicious. This bib does mean that when you are wearing a strap cover drool pad, you will need to slide it up the strap. So when it is down low, so when it's down like this, sorry, trying to make it easy to get the things. So when it's down like this, your strap cover can be where my hand is, but when you put the headrest bib, the headrest up, I keep calling it a bib, I'm sorry. When you stick the headrest off, you will need to move your suck pads up to keep them nearby. Your baby still will be able to chew on them if they're bigger. And of course, if your baby's smaller and this is down, your suck pads will be at the right spot for them. Here we have these two snap adjustments. And as I said, inside the bottom, we have width adjustment. If your baby is going to be forward facing, you take these snaps, I'm sorry, snaps of buttons, and move them inward. And then you're going to put your baby on this way, making sure that the width of the panel is comfortable for your child. Dress forms do not hold as still as people. Hmm, you would have thought. I'm gonna clip the shoulder, the chest clip slash shoulder clip in the back here. Tell if everything stay in place while we're talking about it. So we have the narrow seat position here, and your baby can put their arms in whatever position is comfortable for them. And the bib in the headrest in this case needs to be down. And there are snaps here so you can keep everything in place. If you are using my DIY bib pattern, you can use it in the upward or downward position. And the long side is just going to fold over this edge to protect it from all that lovely baby jewel. So our baby is comfortable in any position in this carrier. My kids never liked outward facing, but I know kids who hate inward facing. So this carrier does give you a lot of options that work for you. On my dress form here, I'm doing all these on the front of the body but you can inward face on the back of the body as well. So you can back carry in this. Let's look at the last part, that width adjustment at the bottom. Just like the other eras of carriers, we do have a wonderful buckle here. Two push on the side, there's not the extra safety. I know a lot of people have trouble with the extra safety push and able to get it on and off yourself. And don't forget when you snap it, always stick it through this piece of elastic here that's just a safety so let's imagine you didn't get this quite buckled for some reason and it came undone this is going to give you that extra second or two that you need in order to get your baby off you safely or to grab your child to make sure that they stay safe so that elastic is important Oop, let me undo this so we can look at that with the adjustment the carrier's upside down right now, and that's just the easiest way for me to show you everything. So you have this webbing strap here, and that's what this is going to move on. But I have it snapped in place right now. Inside here, there's snaps. There we go, I've opened it up. And now I can adjust the width outward. And there's actually three snaps here and here. So when it's in the widest position, you can snap them all to create a really good solid base. And when you need it in a narrower position, you snug it up and you just snap the last one or any of the ones that line up. 
I certainly suggest that you make the sides even, but they are both equally easy to adjust. And then you would just snap all three of the spots here for a nice solid bottom. And that's, that's decently wide. That definitely could do an older child. This carrier is rated up to 45 pounds, so seven to 45 pounds. And you don't need an infant insert. It's one of the great parts. Infant inserts, I've always found a little bit bulky to use. And I'm glad they make them though, because it gives you the ability to use a different carrier that wouldn't work otherwise. But if you can go with a carrier that works for an infant without the insert, and you're new to baby wearing, that's what I'd suggest. New baby wearers have a lot of problems with those infant inserts. They seem to always get in the way. And if you have a summer baby, those infant inserts can get really hot. So going with a carrier where you don't need it is a great option. There are lots of carriers out there that don't need an infant insert, and this is just one of them. So we'll go back up here to a, the straps to take a look for a moment. There is no webbing here. The webbing starts at the top of the strap where that snap is for the hood. And then turning it around to the other side, you have your chest clip slash shoulder clip, wherever this happens to be on your body, and then lots of webbing so that you can adjust the height so it ends up in a comfortable spot for you. Ladies, we often find the most comfortable spot for this to actually be where your bra band is in the back. So if you move this all the way low, it can really hold the back of the straps together and keep it super comfy. I know it's a little bit harder for some to be able to connect it there, but instead of going over the top, you actually go around the back like you would put your bra on. That only works if you are average to shorter size. People who are taller or plus size don't tend to have enough strap to be able to get it that low. So basically, try to get it as low as you can. If it's super high up on your neck here, some people say it hurts. So work with it and find the perfect spot for you. That's why it's adjustable, because all of our bodies are different. These are adjustable, as you guys probably already know. Mine are a little stiff. They haven't been worked in very much. And here at the end, lots of strap. And these little elastic loops, if you've never used them before, they keep all this extra strap out of the way. Just roll up your strap and then take this loop, pop it over the end, and it will keep all that extra strap out of the way. This is the stuff that gets caught in your car door, so make sure to roll it up. Now one more comment about the straps is that their size. Tula Explore straps are a little bit smaller than the other Tulas. The original Tula, the Tula Free to Grow, they have what I call standard strap size. And if you're doing DIY suck pads, that's the pattern you need to look for, standard size. This carrier though, they're a little smaller. But they're not small enough to be narrow size. But when I put standard size on them, they're just, they wiggle too much for me. So now I have a fourth size of suck pad pattern that you can get for free. That is the Tula Explore size. And it's so they fit this carrier exactly. But nobody needs that extra wiggle, that fabric that gets in your way. You want them to fit right. And so you can get that pattern for free at fabricninja.com slash free pattern. And you'll be able to get into my Fabric Ninja freebie library that has four suck pad patterns, dino spike patterns, some great SVGs, for some adorable t-shirts. There's lots of sewing things, even how to add a pocket to anything. You use it all the time. And you have an easy handout that you put next to the sewing machine to work through so you don't have to watch the video step by step. But there are videos. There are videos on how to make the drool pads. I have videos on how to make the bib. And I'm working on a video on how to make the hood. So soon there will be videos for every bit of the DIY accessories that you can put on this carrier. Because I know we like making them a bit personal. Personalizing them is fun. The suck pads that are for this carrier are Dory and I also the other side of it's going to be Jasmine. I'll make sure to stick a picture of those at the end so you can see what some of the awesome stuff you can do to this carrier. So overall, I love the Tula Explore. I think it is great for anyone who is of average or short and is maybe under a size 18. 
The problem that I start to have with this carrier is a problem I have with so many carriers. The straps are not long enough for me. I'm about a size 28 and I'm five foot eight and I'm large chested. So all of those things go together and make it so the straps are not very long. When I'm wearing a child on my back, the straps will only end up being here. So I have that chest clip all the way up by my neck and the webbing ends up cutting into my arms. The only carrier that I have found that works for me, that is truly and totally comfortable, is a plus size Kinder Pack. So if you are roughly my size, that is totally a carrier that I suggest for you. It has an adjustable seat so you can get a great width on the infant size, and it goes all the way up to preschool. So there's an amazing range of sizes. I will note there is no forward facing though. So if forward facing is important to you, you need to look at a different carrier. But if you fit in, you know, the roughly 80% of people in the United States at their body size, this carrier is gonna work great for you. And the adjustability on it is wonderful. Long straps, long waist strap. I did not have a problem with this fitting my waist. It was just the strap length that was a problem. And having the ability to do so much width adjustment is gonna really take you a long way in this carrier, as well as the height. As your child gets taller, you've got some height adjustments still available. Thank you for joining me, Alice the Fabric Ninja, and I'll make sure to post some pictures of those Tula Explore accessories I'm working on. Don't forget to check out the Fabric Ninja freebie library on fabricninja.com, and make sure to leave a comment about your favorite baby carrier below. Maybe I'll do a review of it. Have a great day, bye.